Welcome to the Gould's Water Technology video training series. In this episode, we're going to talk to you about installing an electrical output filter in a VFD system. As a rule of thumb, output filters are required on VFD systems when the motor lead length exceeds 50 feet. Naturally, VFD systems with submersible pumps require an output filter. Some VFDs made specifically for submersible pumps include the output filter. Therefore, check your VFD before installing an output filter. For submersible water pumps, a DVDT filter is generally recommended. Select your filter by matching the amperage and voltage of the system to that of the filter. Also, ensure the enclosure rating is suited for the application. Today, we will look at a V1K8A03. This is a three-phase, 60 Hz, 600 volt max, 8 amp max output filter. This filter has a NEMA 3R rated enclosure, which is suitable for outdoor use. For best performance, the filter should be installed within 10 feet of the VFD. Locate the desired locations for cable entry on the enclosure and drill out the enclosure. Install conduit fittings. It's important to note, to maintain the environmental integrity of the enclosure, install listed components with the same environmental rating as the filter enclosure. Why are the output terminals of the VFD, T1 or U, T2 or V, T3 or W, to the input terminals of the filter, A1, B1, C1? Why are the output terminals of the filter, A2, B2, C2, to the motor? Ensure there is a continuous ground between the VFD, the filter, and the motor. Note, three-phase motors can and will run backwards. Therefore, check for proper rotation before finalizing the commissioning. With submersible pumps, the proper rotation yields the highest flow and head. Switch any two leads on the output of the VFD to reverse the previous rotation. Make sure that the VFD settings are compatible with the filter. For the V1K, the maximum output frequency should be 60 Hz, and the switching frequency should be between 2 kHz and 4 kHz. <laughs> 